friends, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a sort of candles hits and misses with you guys. I, as you probably can remember, a while back did a pretty massive candle haul from uh, Walmart and I've been slowly kind of going through like wax melts and candles and I finally have come to a realization that I've got a lot that I think are really great and then some that aren't so great and I thought I'd go ahead and just share with you guys sort of like a review on some of the things that I have been burning and melting. So we'll go ahead and start with a miss which is the Mainstays Sweet Sangria Candle. I was really excited about this. I burned a Yankee Sangria Candle last year and I loved it. On cold scent, it smells just like a light, fruity, sort of soft scent, which is delightful. I don't need like the most powerful candles ever in my life. But you can tell here that I burned it for a pretty long time. No scent throw. Like I couldn't even tell you what it smelled like sitting next to it. And it really aggravated me <laughs> simply because I don't understand how it can have a scent. And then when you light it and the wax melts, how it can produce nothing. I, do, I just don't get it. Um, so I'm not impressed with this. I wouldn't um, go out of my way to try any more Mainstays candles. I do have, um, I think it's like cinnamon toast or like French toast or something. Um, I'll definitely try that, but I'm not going to bother burning this anymore. I don't feel the need to uh, get the satisfaction of burning it all the way down if it absolutely produces no scent. I'm going to go ahead and throw this away. Um, but yeah, just Bad news bears all around. However, a uh, definite hit for me would be the DW Home Richly Scented Candle in Mandarin Agave. I have seen a lot of really good reviews about these candles, but I have gone to TJ Maxx and Marshalls where you mostly find these. This one came from TJ Maxx. And when I smell them, I never like the scent. This one, I... Oh my god, it smells like fruit snacks. And again, similar to the Sangria one, it's a relatively soft scent, but it has this excellent uh, throw on it. It's a beautiful package. It's uh, a two wick candle and it burned beautifully. As soon as I burned it, within like five minutes, it started to produce a wax pool and I was getting a scent off of it. I could leave the room and come back and I could smell it as I was sitting next to the candle just grading essays. It was just such a pleasant, like gentle, but powerful sort of scent. There was another one in this type of packaging that I was torn and almost picked up. And I think if I'm at a TJ Maxx and I see the other version of this, I can't remember the name of it, I would definitely grab it. Um, I'm not normally a fruit person when it comes to candles, but I was a big, big fan of this. Um, so I highly recommend it, especially for $8. It uh, claims to have 56 hours of burn time, uh, which is an awesome amount of burn time. So I'm definitely looking forward to using this more throughout the summer. Uh, another one of my misses would be this Better Homes candle. So in the um, haul, I talked to you guys about how much I love the Apple Blossom Blossom Freesia scent, but I couldn't find it in a candle. And somebody commented down below, they were like, oh, the candle was junk last year. Like, don't worry about it. Hopefully that the wax melt is better for you. Well, wouldn't you know it, when I was looking through my candles, and I don't even have that many, but I actually own to this candle. I must have bought it last year, I think on like clearance or something before I had really been purchasing a lot of candles outside of Bath and Body Works ones. And I burned this because I honestly love the smell. It is such a like a delicious, flowery, almost like Japanese flower type of scent. It's just great. Well, a lot like the Mainstays one, this Better Homes had zero smell. It, no, like I'm sitting next to it and it had no smell and I let it burn for a pretty long time and it just nothing it gave me nothing even when I pull off the lid I can get a nice scent from it but yet when it's lit it produces nothing so I'm gonna go ahead and also throw this one away I don't think I spent more than like three bucks on this on clearance um, but definitely uh, a big bummer all right, now we'll move on to some of the wax melts that I have been using. Normally, I'm the kind of person who will burn a wax melt from start to finish. Like, I'll just like keep putting more cubes of the same scent in. But because I wanted to try more of a variety, I resisted that urge and kind of was melting a bunch of different scents uh, throughout the time. So the first one I have is Sunlit Strawberry Patch. I very much like this. What I find with the Better Homes wax melts is that they are super, super strong when you first put them in. I normally will do three cubes at a time, which some people might think is a little bit excessive, but I have a deep enough wax melter that I can put that many in and then I feel like it will last longer. I don't have to feel like I'm changing them out. Well, when I first smelled this, I thought like, 
oh, it smells really strong, like maybe I'll just put two in, whew, that was a good call. This is so, so, so strong at first when I first put it in, and it reminds me exactly, it's the scent of what the strawberry candies, you know, the ones that have like the red packaging and then the green topping that ties it all together, that have like a soft kind of chewy center, I love those. It smells exactly like those. The only thing is I would say after about like 10 or so hours of melting them, the smell goes. So it's super, 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 super strong and then it will just die. And I've never really noticed wax melts doing that before. I'm used to having like a pretty consistent sort of scent. I can leave the room and then like I'll come back and I can smell it again. And maybe I just got too used to it. These will just stop producing any kind of scent, but it doesn't necessarily bother me because it is so so strong when I first start using it. Um, the same goes with the Apple Blossom Freesia wax melts. Despite the candle being god awful, uh, the wax melt is awesome. I love the smell of this. I, when I first started melting this, I kept walking into the room and being like, God, what is that smell? It's so good. Like it just, it's like probably 10 times stronger on uh, cold snap. It's probably 10 times stronger on cold scent than it is in the candle that I had a terrible time with. So I feel like they must have maybe reformulated it or made it more potent, but oh my God, this is the best. Again, same thing with the Sunlit Strawberry Patch where it's pretty aggressive when you first start melting it, but then it will die off. Like it will just completely die. If that doesn't bother you, I feel like these are really, really good deals and I'm really enjoying both of these scents. The last one that I have is from Sensationals and it's Pink Velvet. This one I have melted the most of. Oh yeah. This is really, really good. Um, it says it's a lovely blend of sugar and vanilla. It almost kind of comes off like blueberry muffins almost, which doesn't make any sense because there's no blueberry in here. But I think it could be like just the combination of like the vanilla and sugar creating sort of like a, a bakery scent almost. but. Man, this is really, really good. I will probably be, like be using this up in the next round uh, once whatever I have in my wax melt dies off. This is just really awesome. So I find that the wax melts at Walmart with the Sensationals and Better Homes are much more consistent in their success and what they'll produce and the value for your money compared to the candles. I haven't burned any of the other candles that I picked up. Um, from this year's candle line. So like I've got some better home ones from this year and then I have that other mainstays one. Um, I'll let you guys know if you guys like this kind of videos, if you want me to keep doing hits and misses of wax melts and candles, let me know in the comments below. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna keep melting my little heart out and lighten the little flames for my candles and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.